this one for this uh tutorial i figured we could try and figure out how to do a prompt a cross-site request forgery prompt bypass so basically what this is is um in your email you might sometimes get a link or you might get an email with a uh, hidden javascript in it that javascript can actually hijack your browser and make your browser do things so it'll basically have all the access privileges that you have on all the websites you've used while at the same time um, performing operations as you without you knowing so here is I'm using WebGoat to demonstrate this. Um, so basically, this is an input box. So we have test, test message, and we submit it. And what happens here is that message will show up on a list and we'll be able to access the message when we click on it. So it's like a comment form. So the reason why I made this is because I saw so many people do it improperly on YouTube. So I decided that, uh, in fact, I don't think I saw one person do it the right way. That made sense. So when we actually go to the browser link, so what we're going to do is we're going to get, we're going to simulate a form. Say the screen size is 900 menu size 277 and we want to put in a transfer of 5000 let's save that let's see what happens when we go here idea what just happened I'm gonna pause it till I figure it out okay so I figured it out basically what happened is that I got the URL wrong so this is the URL so once I get it right basically I'm taken to a page which requests um, it's like a bank page or something like a bank uh, transfer page and it asks me whether I want to confirm or cancel that uh, funds transfer so if we read the instructions here it says in order to do the transfer we need to put in transfer funds is equal to 5,000 and in order to confirm the transfer we're going to make transfers funds equal confirm so these are the two URLs that have to be accessed in order for the actual transaction to go through so what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to create an iframe. We're going to give it an ID of uh, my hack. And then we're going to give it a root source of that. And then on load, what we want it to do is we want it to run. Um, the function my confirm
close off the iframe. You could also use an image here, but uh, let's see. So I'm going to create a function var my confirms equal to function boom. So we need to get the actual item using JavaScript, um, pure JavaScript. Um, get element by ID my hack. So we're pulling into iframe here. And now we're going to set the source to Okay, and that should do it. So basically what we're doing is embedding on this form the following JavaScript to run um, in the background. Hello, you. When this, co when this page is, when this actual comment is viewed. So now I'm going to submit it. So here's the hack. Click it. So, as you can see, a checkbox showed up, and we have successfully broken through, uh, hijacked my browser, and um, bypassed the prompt automatically. So what's actually happening in the background is that my browser was going to the following li link. Then the confirm was clicked. So the transfer actually occurred because the way this website was set up allowed for it. So yep, yeah, so that is an example of a CSRF prompt bypass. I'll put the bypass code in the comment box and it's based this example is based off webgo i hope you enjoyed it uh see you next time